Hey guys, so Cora and I are about to have a meeting. We're going to be having a counseling session with Gradely, okay? Gradely is an online tutoring platform where you can register your kids and they teach your kids on different subjects, different topics. Um, you have the regular school topics like the math, English and all of that. But you also have, you know, other things like coding. So they have extracurricular activities there as well. So basically it's like your lesson teacher but just online and i'm so excited for cora to start it <laughs> are you happy yes. i know cora will be really happy because she once asked me you know for a lesson teacher or extra what do you call that in the doing school basically like um extra lessons in school but i didn't want her to do that i didn't want anything that would keep her in school longer than she needed to be in school so when greatly reached out to me i was really excited i was really curious to see how the platform works so today's our first um, official session i've signed her up you sign up as a parent and you also sign your child up so i have done all of that so we're going to be having a counseling session with cora so that they will know you know the areas that she wants to work on or she needs to work on then yeah they also have a pre-test on the platform where they basically test your child's you know knowledge and stuff like that it's a very comprehensive package and i really have high hopes for it that is why i decided to you know enroll cora so yeah i, I think i'm actually late now yeah we're supposed to have the counseling session now okay yeah i'm excited of this is because i never had i i i've never had like this before and i'm so i'm, I'm so curious of this I, I want to see how it works. I want to see how they do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to leave a link to the platform in the description box so that you can go and sign up your child if you're interested. Before we even start, which um, subjects do you feel like you need help with the most? Is World Bank. World Bank? Yes. What don't you like about World Bank? Eh? What don't you like about or what do you struggle with in World Bank? I struggle with the minis like if, if if I want to know the meanings, I'll, I'll, I'll just use my dictionary and, and, and I'll start looking, but, but I'll not find the word. Mm. Okay, they're going to teach you now. What of mental math? Mm, yeah. Do you know how to do mental math? No. No, so you want to learn that as well? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh. I am so excited. I hope the internet works well. <gasps> See my name. Yeah. Oh, Cora. Yes. Cora, hello. My name is Adebay. Mm. And it's so, so great to meet you. Right. So, once again, um, good afternoon, ma'am. Thanks for joining this session. Okay. Um, so, this is Great Lee's um, academic counseling session. Um, so, we we have discovered often times that um, one of the greatest um, challenge that um, kids have to face in school is um, um, not experiencing, not having the best support, resource, and environment that works for them. Um, we understand that there are no same child. Every child has a learning personality. What is called a learning personality? We can even go further. I was talking about a learning profile. So um, there's a way every child has to learn. Right, and um, so in the world of education, there's this thing they call differentiation, which is trying to teach in a way that appeals to every child's learning personality. Mm -hmm. So we, we have seen a number of challenges that has you know, that has both for a long time, which is why many kids are probably not at their best. Some kids are doing well, but they are still not at their best because um, they have still not been immersed yeah. into an environment that really feeds them. It's like putting the dog in a river. Yeah. It's going to be so it's going to be so terrible. Right, but, but a fish in a pond or in a river is just, it's just going to be so sweatless, right? So the same thing applies to kids. Right, so in the next five minutes there about, I'm going to do something with Cora, okay. and then I'm, I, you also be around to watch the experience. Yeah. Um, some things are going to, yeah. So hi, Cora. Hi, it's a dog. <laughs> yeah. So once again, I, I, I'm so excited to meet you. Um, so Cora, we're going to do some, um, some math in the next few minutes, some uh, numeracy work. Um, so tell me, Cora, um, what topic would you like us to look at? 3D shapes. 3D shapes? Wow, that's interesting. We're going to talk about 3D shapes. Okay, tell me. Um, um, tell me about five 3D shapes you can remember. Hold on, I'm going to put on my whiteboard because I need to do some writing. 
a cube. Number one is a cube. A cube is a cone. Okay, so Cora, please, I need you to give me two more. It's fair. It's fair, that's correct. A prison. Oh, that is yeah. super, yeah. <laughs> Can you please clap for yourself? That's yeah. great, that's great. Right. So, ma'am, in the last seven, eight minutes, um, one of the things I've been able to discover, it's, yes, she has a blend, she has a blend of, 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 an, of an audio learning personality and a visual learning personality. So, so what that means is that, of, of course, the, um, the aura or the audio is higher than the visual. Mm -hmm. What that practically means is the fact that the best way to convey information to Cora, right, is through conversation supported with visuals. Okay. The best method that will work for us, Cora will be supported and every gap is covered for us. So it, that can happen every day, mm -hmm. that can keep happening every now and then. And then that's practically how Cora will keep making progress that is transparent. We are also going to be seeing all of these things on our platform. Okay. Now she's making progress and every class she does online is recorded. Okay. Which also means that she can get back again and then go to class, go to the whole recording and it just at her convenience. So yeah. it's just totally personalized. Alright, so we decided to go with maths tutoring for Cora. That is one area that she needs help with. So she's going to be having classes twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays for just one hour. Then in a few weeks, I'm going to show you her progress. Right now, she struggles with mental maths. So that's one area I would like to see improvement in. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes, okay? 10 plus 8 minus 3 is what? Good job. 100 plus 17 minus 12. More moments later. 105. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, I just finished working. Well, not finished, I just took a break. Um, I was watching Love is Blind. I'm yet to get into it. I really liked the first episode, the first season. I don't know if you guys watched this, Love is Blind on Netflix. I watched the first season. This is making me <laughs> shout, I think. Yeah, so I watched the first season and I liked it. But I'm yet to really get into this season, maybe because I was actually working while watching it. Yeah, but I think the show, the concept of the show is quite interesting. Um, anyway, yesterday I had a live, okay, a YouTube live, and that is live chat, and you guys, I talked for three hours straight. Like, <laughs> I feel like my mouth is paining me, <laughs> even though it's not, but I feel like my mouth should be tingling. I talked for three hours straight. Um, yeah, but I really enjoyed the live. Some of you, you know, watched it, and even though it's not on my channel now, I might edit it and put it up, but not really. I don't, I don't think so, because it's quite long. It's three hours. Like, if you missed it, you missed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so interesting, but if you missed it, look out for the next one, right? Um, yeah, so I talked a lot yesterday, but thank you guys for everyone who, you know, joined me on the live. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think I even need to go and take a nap because Sophia, my baby, is not feeling too well. Actually, I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't know what exactly is going on. In fact, I need to book appointments, you know, to talk to, to see the doctor because she's fine throughout the day. But at night she wakes up crying like she'll just wake up crying screaming i'll have to hold her you know soothe her and then put her back to bed she'll sleep and then she'll wake up again crying so i don't know what is going on um yesterday the first time i realized that she had poo in her diaper i don't know how we missed it because it wasn't smelling so i didn't know i just changed her as per oh maybe it's we let me just change her and then i saw poo there so i changed her poo she slept off and then she woke up again crying so i don't know exactly what i don't know if she has Diaper rash? It's possible she has diaper rash. That was waking her up. I don't know. Who used to lick everybody? Sour. Ew, that's, that's disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. 
called daddy, she has called grandma, she has called Miss Lizzie, she has called Amarachi somehow, she has called Cora very well, she hardly calls Eva but she tries, but you see mommy, she has refused to call mommy, say mommy, she's already talking to, she's already saying things like, why are you doing that, <laughs> she likes saying that, or she will say Miss Lizzie, come and carry you, <laughs> hmm? Mm. Say, mommy. Daddy. No, that's not fair. Daddy. Say, mommy. Daddy. Say, mom. Daddy. I feel she didn't do purpose at this point. Say, Miss Lizzie. Daddy. Say, Cora. Baba. Say, Miss Amarachi. Baba. <laughs> that's what she calls Amarachi. Baba. Amachi three four five six seven uh -huh. eight nine ten <laughs> you didn't count to and you want yeah. to clap guys i thought my kids were sleeping but sophia is there screaming as if i don't know what she's screaming about anyway i want to make a sauce that we will eat yam with and this sauce is basically fish sauce so it's basically fish in tomato base i have a tomato base that i have shown like a million times in my videos so it's basically onions tomato and pepper i just cut them fry them in oil and put i don't fry it too much i just fry it a bit in oil and then share it and put it in the freezer so that's this all right that's this so that's the base but this one doesn't have pepper because of my kids so i don't want to put pepper in everything what i do now is i now have my pepper separate so this is pepper it's been okay yeah so this is pepper it's actually been fried in oil yeah so it's actually fried in oil so all i need to do is just mix i don't need to start cutting or they just mix and add my spices and then this is spinach from my garden okay um yeah so spinach from my garden then i have fish already deboned and um what's the name yeah already deboned and um shredded okay so i actually smoked this fish myself is it, is it called smoking anyway i bought fish and then put it in the oven and when it was done i just brought it out and deboned it well not me it's elizabeth that did this but <laughs> yeah i thought i what to do so after the thing was done i she now deboned it and you know shredded it and put it here so in the next five minutes or ten minutes this sauce is going to be ready um then in the evening though boy it's already eaten anyway but when shortly before it's time to eat maybe around 6 30 7 then elizabeth will just boil yam and then we'll eat it so that's how i make life easy for myself or if not heh. anyway let me just go ahead now and prepare this now i'll show you guys while i prepare it um what that's going to be our, our dinner for today i'm actually looking forward to eating it because i love yam 